Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart, S&P 500, E-mini futures. Uh, as everybody probably knows by now, uh, the GOP has taken control of the Senate. They gained, uh, they increased in their majority in the House, which seems to be boosting markets this morning. Um, what that has to do with anything actually getting done politically in this country is a whole other matter and it really has nothing to do with the markets. So, um, now we're trading 2017. I had a, a short on yesterday. Uh, we grabbed 10 on that 15 and I left a runner on free ride that I just got stopped out of. I've got a long on from, uh, uh 2001 half. That was uh, the proprietary lower level yesterday. It tested that level, and then it retested it in the afternoon. And so we got long there, and we've taken profits on the way up, and I've got a runner there. And, you know, I'm just going to see what happens today because, you know, the, the reason I held that long and just decided I would let the other one work itself out is because, you know, you've got this hammer of a candle here uh, on the um, daily chart. Which is saying to me, you know, we do a little bit of a pullback from 2019 to to, to 1995, potentially find, a, you know, another floor. I think they're going to try to do new highs today, uh, which is not a stretch considering we're three handles below new highs. So that's my, you know, that's not exactly a bold prediction on my part. What I'll be very interested to see with the ECB tomorrow and the jobs report on Friday is whether the bulls are going to be able to turn this into another leg higher. Um, it, it, it would seem to me based on how the markets have traded the last two plus years that this should turn into new highs and it would target for me uh, you know, I was looking 28 to 32. I still think that's a valid area. I don't think you can do much past 32 without another small pullback. Um, the areas you look at above there, you look at 2040. The the um, the upper band is running away from price a little bit. It's at 2046 this morning. That's 30 handles away, but I mean that's just one good catalyst away. So you can't really rule anything out. What I do know is that we're getting bullish follow through from yesterday's dip on the back of the election results. And if the election was a sell the news event, we should be down 11 handles in the futures, not up 11 handles in the future. So you have to set that theory aside and trade what you see, which is strength this morning. So that's how, that's how we're going to play it. We're going to let our longs work and, um, you know, trade the day as it comes. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Come check out the website. Come check out the chat room. Um, we've got some trials in. We're looking for more. Last batch of trials uh, are now subscribers, and it's a great time to learn. Um, you get access to a lot of great material, and you get to, you know, you get to trade with some really, um, you know, you get to trade with some really good traders. And it's just a very um, comfortable place to be during the day if, if, if you trade this stuff all day. And uh, we hope to meet you. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well.